The big story today, an unarmed man and his dog shot by Phoenix police, an officer there. An outraged community protest for more than a week now. Listen. I want to tell you now that the officer has just been indicted on second degree murder and animal cruelty charges. But the protesters and the unarmed man's mother, they want more. In just a moment, I'll talk to one of the protest leaders and to the officer's attorney. But first, here's how the shooting went down. All right, pay attention to this. A domestic disturbance call brought police to the home of this man. His name is Danny Frank Rodriguez. He had been arguing with his mother. She was afraid that he might hurt her and hope police could calm him down. The details I'm about to give you are outlined in some court documents. So first, Phoenix police officer Richard Chrisman and his partner responded to that call. Rodriguez told them to show a warrant or leave. Officer Chrisman allegedly put his gun to Rodriguez's head, told him he didn't need a warrant, and ordered him out of the house. Rodriguez struggled with the police officer. Officer Chrisman allegedly used a stun gun and pepper spray to try to restrain the man and then shot his pit bull. Rodriguez tried to leave on his bicycle, but the struggle then continued. And Officer Chrisman allegedly pulled his gun again and fired. And remember, Rodriguez did not have a weapon. And can you imagine, the mother heard it all. You know, he's my son. I love my son. <laughs> It's wrong. What happened was wrong. First I heard two shots, and then it paused, and then we heard two shots. They just told me right now they killed him. So Officer Chrisman was originally charged with aggravated assault. He was arrested, then released on $150,000 bond. Rodriguez's mother wants him behind bars again. I'm, however, very disappointed that Officer Christmas has not been rearrested based on new charges against him. I urge the county attorney to reconsider this decision and please rearrest Officer Christmas for the second degree murder charges. All right, let's talk about this uh, and discuss it, really. Craig Marins is Officer Christmas' lawyer. He says the shooting of Danny Rodriguez was justified. And Carlos Galindo is a radio host who organized protests calling for more serious charges against Officer Christman. Thanks to both of you for joining me. Mr. Marins, I'm going to start with you. Even the officer's partner says the man wasn't armed and didn't pose a threat. So how is this justified? Well, the officer's partner has given several stories. In addition, the officer's partner stayed outside the trailer while my client was inside trying to take care of the situation. In addition, the officer's partner, Mr. Vahil, used his taser and tasered the suspect. So if he wasn't a threat, why did Officer Vahil taser him? But, um, I, but his well, partner, the, listen, won't his partner here, testimony it, be damaging? Because again, as I said, he was unarmed at the time. And the partner has said on record uh, in the documents that he did not pose a threat at the time. Is this not damaging to your client? If you, li if you if, absolutely, if you listen to just that officer's testimony, um, you would come to that conclusion. Uh, it's unfortunate the police and the county attorney didn't wish to listen to my client's side of the story. We made it available to them and they didn't even return my, uh, I, I wrote them a letter and asked them, you know, let's meet with you. And they said, well, they didn't say anything. Okay, listen, uh, here's, what the, here's what the police officer is saying. They're saying that we make decisions based on the fact of the investigation, not rumors, not people being upset. We base them on facts. Phoenix police, that's Phoenix Police Chief Jack Harris. He said that at a press conference announcing murder charges against Officer Richard Chrisman. He said just the facts, Mr. Marins. And, and, and what is your, if, you're, if you believe, again, as you say, and you wouldn't be representing him, that this officer is wrongly accused, what is his version of the story? His version of the story is that this man was absolutely a threat and that he came at with him with a weapon. He didn't try to leave the trailer. He was inside the trailer with a bicycle. He didn't try to leave the trailer on his bicycle. I, I, I don't know where Officer Verheel came up with that fairy tale, but that's exactly what it is. Okay, listen, let's get to Mr. Galindo now. You actually informed the mother of the charges, and you have put this in the spotlight. Um, are you satisfied with the more serious charges now? 
Absolutely. I think they were merited. Uh, I think uh, the facts, as they said, speak for themselves. And the idea was here to make sure that the Phoenix Police Department conducted the proper investigation, provided said investigation to the county attorney so he could file the appropriate charges in this case. And not only did we obtain appropriate charges, we obtained a complete change in policy and procedure on how the Phoenix police handles South Phoenix and certain areas that are primarily indigent and minority in Phoenix. But, oh, Mr. Galindo, Galindo, excuse me, are you saying that there is, is this a pattern with the police department? Uh, it, it, we, we have seen investigations that are lacking from the Phoenix Police Department in the past. We have had many complaints. I've had many uh, individual citizens complain to me about uh, shoddy police work. I, I, I really truly feel that there's a change now in the Phoenix Police Department. I truly feel that Chief Jack Harris will do what's right that the mayor and vice mayor of uh, Phoenix will start moving to uh, heal the community and have a better relationship. Okay. I, I, I'm confident of that. They're not here to defend those charges or to accept what you're saying is the, um, how the department is improving. But again, uh, the police chief is just saying they're doing what they do based on facts. Mr. Marin, I want to ask you this. Uh, another, something else that may be potentially damaging to your client. Officer Chrisman had been in trouble before, and we have the video here. Uh, for saying that he helped to plant a crack pipe on a woman that was during a 2005 arrest. There's the video right there. You can see it. You can see him handing the woman police officer. You may want to. There it. There it is. Handing the crack pipe, putting it on the woman. He has said that it was a joke because she wasn't arrested for any type of drug charge. She was arrested for an outstanding warrant. I mean, but come on. All of these officers were disciplined for this incident, as they should have been. This happened some years ago. It was inappropriate behavior, but it has nothing to do with this charge. But doesn't it go nothing to judgment, to as they would say in a court? Doesn't this go to judgment of a police officer? We've all used bad judgment, Don. I know I have a lot. Of course it goes to his judgment on that situation, but it has nothing to do with, with this situation. They're, they're total, totally two different things. Because of this, he was put on a list. There's over 200 Phoenix police officers who have been placed on this list, past and present. The head of internal affairs, the commander of internal affairs at Phoenix Police Department, he's on the same list as my client for this sort of conduct. Uh, the prosecutor's office looked at this several years ago and did nothing about it. They concluded there was nothing about it. They have used my client as a witness in other cases. It hadn't been a problem until now when they want to make something out of it. Back to Mr. Galindo now. You actually, as I said, informed the mother of the upgraded charges. Yes. We spoke to her for a little yes. bit today. She is distraught. I think actually there are services for her son today. How is she doing? Uh, she's, she's torn up. She does want a rearrest of Officer Christman. I think if it was you or I or any other U.S. citizen, we would be arrested, rearrested and, and put in jail with the appropriate bond. I, we're disappointed that the appropriate bond has not been affixed here by the county attorney. However, we are happy that the county attorney did step up to the plate and do what was right and charge him with a correct crime. Carlos Galindo, Craig Marins, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, sir.